Okay, so I have to be careful while I step. We're officially here. You can see the wonderful view behind me. We have our own pool. So actually, um, we're in Ubud first. So we decided to come to Ubud for our first part of our trip because I wanted to kind of come to like the cultural center before we went to like the hip and like up and trendy areas. So we're in Ubud in this villa for five days and then we're going to Nusa Panita and then we're going to stay there for three days, a little long compared to what most people do. And then we're going to Seminyak, which is like the really like populated like area. Wow, the sun has really come up right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we're here in this villa for five days and it's amazing. We arrived last night at like 10 p.m. Um, at the airport because our flight was delayed a little, like our second flight was delayed a little. Okay, now the sun's gone. <laughs> um, so we didn't even get into the villa until 12 and then we had like a very like light dinner-ish and then we went to bed and we didn't get to bed until like 1.30. So I woke up super early and like I can't relax and go back to sleep. So <laughs> I'm awake and today the goal is Two. First, we're just gonna have a nice breakfast because breakfast is included with this villa. Yes. And then we're gonna chill, maybe take a dive in the pool because we have a whole private pool. Oh, private pool. And then we're gonna go to the monkey forest today. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's what she wrote. I'm so high energy, guys. But, um,. This villa, as you can see, is very open. So if you just, you know, look out here, you can just see that we are in the jungle. And because of that, we have a lot of friends, okay? And we have a lot of geckos. Like, look out, look at this little guy. Look at him. Look at him. Hello. Should I name him? I'm gonna name you George. My name's George. Okay, George. Last night when we came in, there was three geckos on the ceiling. <laughs> so now there's only one. We have George. Um, but the only thing about this villa, it's absolutely gorgeous and it wasn't expensive. I think one night, 10,000 yen, less than 10,000 yen per night if you total it together, which means like one person is like 5,000 yen, which is about $50 USD, which is amazing because breakfast is also included um, but the only thing about this is like I mentioned it's in the jungle so of course we have George up on the ceiling and he poops <laughs> he poops but then we also have this which I just woke up to um, this is the morning the first morning here but we have a lot of we have a lot of friends who are trying to find where the food is I should show you more up close. We have um, we have made lots of friends. So when they come with breakfast, I think I'm gonna mention that, and hopefully we can get that solved. And you can see here, I have a wonderful sleeping husband. I would show you the bedroom, but he is currently occupying it with his sleeping body. But I do, I want to show you the bathroom. Look at this. The shower goes right out. Oh, it's not right out. It is part of the open ceiling. We have a rain shower. The rocks all down here at the bottom. And then on the other side, we have our toilet. How convenient. I just love how beautiful this whole setup is.
Next step, breakfast and solving the ant problem. Yes, I need this kind of footage. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. <laughs> I don't know if I should be concerned that he's eating my clothes. <laughs> Banana. It's not in the wild, I guess. It's a field. It's a field. My first coconut. Okay, we're here finally to have lunch at almost 3 p.m. And we had a fight on the way over here. But you know, honeymoon things that happen, travel problems happen, and we put it under the bridge. And now he's enjoying. He's enjoying this wonderful beverage. You look like you're really like enjoying that. Yeah, it tastes like um so like a uh, beetle jelly, you know. Beetle jelly? Yeah, I used to have a keep a beetle as a pet, and then I give him that special jelly for the beetle if you can buy. It. You ate it before? No, it smells <laughs> so thin. It's a bit well, of juice. There's freaking like uh, beets in it. I think beets are disgusting, dude. You didn't read what was in it, you just what chose it. Right. <laughs> My first of many, hopefully, coconut experiences. Oh, where is she? So, where is she? Oh, look at so refreshing. No, not too much. Avoid. Don't move the plate, please. She dripped it. Double, double. Hey, what's that? much water is in a single coconut because I didn't know but now I know we finished our meal we've had coffee which I also didn't know that came in a pot and uh, I've been chugging this coconut and I'm worried for my future self who's gonna be running to the bathroom every five seconds after we leave this place <laughs> and I'm worried for my current self his stomach is three times its normal size, mostly due to coconut water. <laughs> 
monkey, 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 monkey. how excited I am to be here today. I'm a monkey lover. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> <笑>なんか、なんか新しい新しいお猿の種類を見つかりましたなんかこのお猿めっちゃでかくないおい猿さんこっち来い<笑><笑><笑> お猿さんはい名前なんて言われるんですかお猿ですお猿です<笑> I like that so much <笑> なんか he doesn't usually say puns but I really appreciate that pun <笑> これからずっとそういう風に言おう言おうお猿です<笑><笑> villa mostly all we did today was relax in the pool and then we went to the monkey forest yeah what's your impression of the monkey forest do you recommend it to people who come to Bali mm -hmm. yeah, it, it is a really recommend it mm. you know, it was so how do you say gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> mysterious chimpiteki like a palace, old palace, oh, like a spiritual. Yeah. Yeah, I highly recommend the monkey forest to anyone who's coming to Bali, because I know that like a lot of people might think that because it's a tourist attraction that like it's gonna be crowded with people and it's not gonna be as good as what you imagine, but trust me, it is way better than you imagine it would be. So of course there are many foreign people there, but it is a nature sanctuary, so it's a huge area. Like it took us a while just to walk around, and. I was actually more interested in like the nature that we saw there than the actual monkeys. But the monkeys, of course, were adorable. But it was so beautiful. But yeah, the, especially uh, in my opinion, the statue was really good. Yeah, they had so many stone statues all around the entire sanctuary. 
and it, it was really something to look at. Mm. Um, some kids were crying, so maybe if you have kids, don't bring them. <laughs> because like once they, the monkeys start jumping on people, the kids get really freaked out. And we saw like, I saw at least four kids crying. Like, uh, <laughs> but, but other than that, everything was good. It was really beautiful. It was so much better than I thought it would be. Mm. Highly recommend. Now for the rest of tonight, we're gonna enjoy company. We don't even need to eat dinner. Mm. Like I'm full still from yeah. lunch. <laughs> and watch a movie. See you day two. Welcome to day two of our Bali adventures. And we had a lot of experience trying to get taxis yesterday. And then we also were talking to our villa uh, owner about driving us. And we found out that of course, taxis are the cheapest option above getting a scooter. So then we asked him to see if we could get a scooter to try out for today. And uh, I'm not sure if this is the best decision, but we're gonna try to use a scooter today. Kind of scary because we are in Ubud, which is one of the biggest areas. So we don't have a lot of confidence in this decision. Wish us luck. Hope that we don't die. Okay? Okay. <laughs> one hour later. We made it to yeah. the art market by scooter and uh, we almost died three times. <laughs> and if I say that you think that the trip was a long trip, the trip was like 20 minutes. That means our odds of living are decreasing every time we get on that bike. But anyway, <laughs> let's enjoy.
beautiful time at the Ubud market so far. Now we're sitting for lunch and I think I had such a great time like uh, like bargaining and stuff. It was really fun. <laughs> Someone's hitting on me. I wonder who it is. <laughs> My husband. Anyway, it was so fun to actually kind of bargain. I think like I could have gone lower, but like I just sucked at bargaining, but it was still really fun. Now let's eat some good food. people are putting eggs on all of these plants we really are curious <laughs> like they're everywhere like every day the recap is gonna be like we're just sitting next to the pool like how was the day I mentioned a bit when we had lunch that like the scooter ride was kind of scary <laughs> um, what do you think what what's your overall outlook about using a scooter in Bali it was very exciting mm -hmm. and fun and it's okay to use it once once <laughs> Only one time. Try once, then we're we're good. We don't we don't need this experience anymore. We've already fulfilled it. Like check on the yes, bucket yes, list. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was actually really really fun. Like in the country area, because we're living kind of away from the center of Ubud. Living, we're staying um, at, around the outside of Ubud. So like it's nice, really really nice around our property. Mm -hmm. But as okay. soon as you get a little close to the center, like it's crazy, which we knew. We knew it would be crazy because of course we researched, but it was an interesting experience. A very scary, honestly, a very scary experience that I don't need to experience again. <laughs> <laughs> Literally was like praying that we weren't gonna die like or get in an accident. Cause you see people today, we were in Ubud and I saw at least two or three people with their legs bandaged up like with r white gauze and like I saw blood coming off their legs and it's obviously because of scooter accidents <laughs> it's mm. like so obvious <laughs> so yeah if you come to Bali and you know how to ride a scooter you're probably okay but still the city is crazy there's holes everywhere on the roads and like there's everyone doesn't follow any rules they're just like pew 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 mm, yeah and um, this was our first time ever riding a scooter. <laughs> so maybe that's why we had um, some fear. Mm -hmm. Lesson learned, right? Lesson learned. <laughs> Fries? Amazing. 
<laughs> First pad thai and it just happens to be in Indonesia. But it's good. It's very good. You've had a lot of pad thai before and you went to Thailand. I know pad thai is like not like like actually Thai but like Yeah. And this is better. Really? Pad thai in, in Indonesia is better. I don't think you should say that. People online are gonna kill you. <laughs> it's really good. A second friend. <laughs> Hello. This cat. <laughs> Another friend. Hello. What should your name be? Blackie or Becky? Becky. Sam. Sam? <laughs> What's wrong with Sam? Oh, oh, trying to eat the bowl. He doesn't need it. I think it's a girl. Jim was a boy, but I think Sam. Sam. <laughs> Becky cat. I like Becky. That's such a random name. And I would never name a cat Becky, but like since he said Becky, I just feel like she's a Becky now. <laughs> Becky, we don't have any food to be really. Ow, ow, ow honest with you, Becky, like, we literally have nothing to give you, like, even if I wanted to, except peanuts, and apparently those aren't really good for you in large quantities. I was being tortured alive. Mm. 